Okay guys, today we're talking about how to cook in the wild. And we're going to start off with some tips and tricks about how I cook in the wild. And then we're going to talk about strategies for bringing food into the wild. So let's jump right into this. Okay. <clears throat> so I've cooked just a few... few cooked just a few meals outside and I thought I would share with you guys one of my favorite methods to cooking and preparing food or just an, an overall really streamlined um, system. So I thought I would share with you guys in this video a really streamlined system of the good old Boy Scouts of America mess kit. And I love this system. It's a little bit messy because I just got done using it, but um, overall this particular mess kit in the Boy Scouts of America mess kit are probably my favorite system for cooking just about anything in the wild. I've cooked everything from grouse to, as you guys just saw, couscous to oatmeal, uh, all kinds of food with this setup. And you can use it on, like I said, you can gather live or, you know, natural materials or resources, whether those be meats, mushrooms, anything like that, and put them right in the skillet, cook it right up. And also you have the ability to, there's also a pot included with this system, and there's also a pot nested in this system that you can utilize to cook up uh, meals that require more boiling time and a less of a kind of a skillet type meal. So this is a super versatile system whether you're bringing food or uh, procuring food from the natural resources around you. This is an overall great system and setup. But let's talk about bringing food into the wilderness. So the first thing I want to mention is how to bring in lightweight food into the wild and also how to bring in food on a budget. Um, a lot of times, a lot of hikers and you know, backpackers and such, they are very attracted to things like mountain house meals, and they're very attracted to those types of kind of prepackaged, almost MRE style food. You know, it usually just requires some boiling water, pour it into a little bag, and voila, your food is ready to consume in a few minutes. But that system is definitely not the most sustainable and the most long-term type of way to carry food into the wilderness. And if you are looking for a kind of short-term solution, mountain house meals certainly work very well. But what I prefer to do, as I showcased in this video, is I actually like to bring and buy, first of all, uh, grains such as oatmeal or even pastas like couscous like this in bulk quantities which you can get for pretty much dirt cheap like dollars on the pound uh, if not less I think these are actually like less than a dollar a pound but um, don't correct me if I'm wrong on that one or correct me if I'm wrong on that one it has been a minute since I bought this but um, you can just get pounds and pounds of things like couscous oatmeal and other pastas and other grains and uh just use them or just cook them you know make them up out in the wild very easily i love couscous myself and uh, it's very easy to carry pounds of this stuff and that will make many meals very easily and you can just carry them in a freezer bag like this or you can get other types of sacks or containers for your grains for your pastas for other types of uh, hard foods or dry foods like these and so this is the most effective way i found to carry food out in the wild it's a great method that i personally like quite a bit and once again it allows me to carry uh and going this route allows me to carry a lot of food within a reasonable ease. I mean, this same package full of couscous would be about the size of maybe two to three prepackaged meals. Not to mention, once again, like I just talked about, not to mention, like I just uh, talked about, you know, you can get these for dollars on the pound, not just, you know, 10, 15 bucks per pre-made meal. Those pre-made mountain house meals and such are actually pretty spendy. So the, this is definitely a more affordable and more convenient way to roll when it comes to eating in the wild if you are bringing your own food. Once again, this is just showing off um, couscous, but there are many different uh, types of food you can carry. Okay. So what other foods do I carry? I don't just strictly obviously live off of couscous. Though that would be pretty hilarious if I did. But you know, I, it is one of the meals that I carry. 
Okay, so we talked about couscous before we talked about other considerations for meals to bring in. I wanted to mention what I do for spices. Now, I personally am a big fan of spices, especially if you are harvesting natural foods. So whether that be natural, you know, berries or mushrooms or those types of kind of vegetables, so to speak, or berries, you know, kind of the natural resources or whether you're harvesting live animals uh, or not so much alive, but, you know, harvesting and hunting animals, I should say, uh, spices are really great great way to go and there's honestly this is the way that I do it this is a little bit chaotic this probably could be organized a little bit better but essentially what I did is I color-coded my different spices that I use the most and of course I tried my hardest with a sharpie to write down you know what the actual spice is so that I know which spices are in which and I basically just made these pre-packaged and different sizes so ones that I use a lot more of or ones that would be used uh, more frequently are usually in larger sizes um, but I try to have a good amount of variation as you guys can see here like ginger is pretty light spice I have quite a bit of this spice right here and uh, there's also different ones I think like salt is in here somewhere and I have a pretty large container of you know just regular salt and so once again if you are actually you know seasoning or trying to season or spruce up something like a grouse you know having some of these spices can be pretty useful um, another one I have here is like cayenne pepper right there and so I have just a few you know like cayenne pepper that I can just pop open with a knife and then just put the spice there so very easy way to carry a good assortment of spices in a nice uh, kind of container and even if you don't necessarily wrap them in their own bag you know they are watertight in their own little plastic straws so yeah all these are plastic straws with you know a set amount of um different spices in each uh, little container so yeah that is the way that i spice my food whether it's food that i'm bringing in or it's food that i'm harvesting from the wild this is a great method in a great way Okay, so other considerations for food. Now, I don't solely live off of things like couscous and oatmeal, as much as some people might like to think that would be pretty bland and boring. So I like to carry in other foods, but primarily the other foods that I try to focus on is essentially how much calorie and protein intake I can get per package. Things like Cliff Bars uh, are pretty good in this regard. I really like Cliff Bars as a whole. Some people will definitely disagree because of soy and other reasons, but I won't get into that debate in this video just wanted to say that you know i mean for the size of what this is you know it has 260 calories which is pretty darn good and it also has a pretty decent amount of you know carbs which is what you're looking for you know if you are exerting yourself out here you want to make sure that you're getting a good amount of carbs and protein back into your system because these are things uh, as well as fats that your body is going to be burning if you are hiking if you are backpacking if you're just bushcrafting and such you know your body is going to be burning these things so you want to put them back in now of course fats you don't want as much of but carbs and protein especially are going to be your powerhouse uh, kind of um, resources that you're looking to glean from food so like i said things like cliff bars or multi-grain bars nut bars those kinds of things are just really usually pretty concentrated forms of the nutrients that you're looking for but in addition to this i also do like to run things like beef jerky because one they can help spruce up a meal or you know if you are running things like couscous this can help add a little bit of bulk to it because obviously the couscous is just carbs so uh, if you want to add a little bit more to that meal a little bit more substance you know balancing it with things like beef jerky is a really great way to go once again beef jerky being a dried meat does not have that much weight it's reasonably you know pretty it's going to be pretty shelf stable and it's also going to be jam-packed with protein of course uh, beef jerky is one of the highest like concentrated proteins that you can really get in the wilderness or bring into the wilderness i guess you could say and so i like it for that reason because protein is such a versatile uh, nutrient that you know it can serve a lot of different roles for your body so that's why i prefer to try to load on protein obviously not just only have protein because if you don't have fats and you don't have carbs 
carbs, your body can go into a shutdown mode off of just protein. But, you know, you want to focus on having as reasonably balanced diet as you can when you're out in the wild. So that's why I prefer to like things such as um, beef jerky. Once again, it's pretty low in everything, but very high in protein. And so mixing that with, you know, these kinds of energy bars for snacks and then, you know, bulking up for meals with things like oatmeal, it makes for a very pretty solid setup that you can reasonably easy pack in. So if you aren't naturally harvesting, these are definitely some of the recommendations. If you're not harvesting from the nature around you, these are definitely some of the recommendations that I recommend for you guys. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to cook and how to eat in the wild and bushcraft when you're out bushcrafting or camping in the wilderness. So as always guys, God bless and I'm out.